What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for the Uncovered Jailbreak to be updated for the A12 and A13 devices on the iOS 13.3 and lower. So we have massive progress from the Uncovered team and pound to own. After Brandon Azad released the kernel exploit two days ago, he posted OOB timestamp is a proof of concept research exploit that exports the kernel task port on 13.3 17c54 on the iPhone 12.3. See the readme and the OOB timestamp.c for for details. So he basically released what we needed for an iOS 13.0 all the way up to iOS 13.3 jailbreak and of course at this point we could update the uncover, which has previously only supported 12.4.1 and less. Well, Pound to Own started working like crazy on that jailbreak, and of course we had a lot of progress going on. Back on February 8, he posted, quote, successfully bypassed Apple's new mitigations against my code signing bypass on my iPhone 11 Pro Max running 13.3, and that was actually the most important thing. He says in here, this is basically the biggest part of the jailbreak on A12 and A13. So basically he managed to fix everything that Apple managed to destroy from his previous code sign bypass. And this is actually massive in itself, considering the fact that the kernel exploit that allows this jailbreak to exist has only been out for a couple of days. So he's working very, very fast. He then posted this, quote, successfully remounted the root file system as read-write on A13, and of course A12 as well. This is very important. This allows you to install CDM and to install tweaks on the applications folder. Without a remount, you have a rootless jailbreak like the one created by Jake James, which is not as powerful as as one with a remount. And as you can see here, he successfully remounted with no problem. Then he posted a very important piece of news. iOS 13.2.2 won't be supported on the initial release, if ever. Everyone should just get to the iOS 13.3 ASAP. So if you're running an older version like 13.2, 13.2.2, 13.1, 13 13.0, go ahead and update right now to iOS 13.3 because your version may not be supported. iOS 13.3 is still signed but will not stay signed for so long, especially when a jailbreak is threatening to be released in the near future. And then of course Pawn posted even more news about the jailbreak. He said, quote, successfully installed Cydia on A13. This is the first time an iPhone 11 or 11 Pro gets to have Cydia on it that actually works. Uncover being the first jailbreak to support the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. So he says in here, quote, I will now update my substitution support package to get tweaks running. So at this point we do have Cydia, but not tweaks yet. So there's still a lot to do. Now after that he posted quote, it looks like the upcoming version of the uncovered jailbreak may support all iOS versions starting from 13.0 up to 13.3 on A12 and A13 devices. So while he advises in here that you should definitely update the iOS 13.3, he then said that he may support the 13.0 up to 13.3. However, I wouldn't bet on this. I would update the 13.3 because it's still signed and apparently the battery life is okay on 13.3. And then just a couple of minutes ago he posted one last update and he said, quote, I'm currently working on fixing a bug which seems to be caused by a bug in Apple's code in iOS 13. The bug affects substitution support and has to be fixed before the release. Hashtag uncover. So this is basically to get the tweaks working. We do have CDM, we do have a remount, he managed to basically set the nonce, so he has the jailbreak very very well made to the point where he just has to fix the tweaks. Well tweaks are a very important part of a jailbreak and therefore they have to be fixed. So this is actually a major thing to be fixed before we can get a release and of course there's a lot of testing involved. So don't think that we're going to get this in a day or two. There still needs to be testing, there are still things that have to be fixed, but we are very, very far into the process of getting an iOS 13.0 to 13.3, A12 and A13 jailbreak. And according to Pawn, the iOS 13 to 13.3 jailbreak will also support the older devices like the iPhone 10, the iPhone 7, iPhone 6 and stuff like that. So it's not going to support only the A12 and A13, although the A12 and A13 are the priority for the moment because they do not have any jailbreak on iOS 13, while the others that I mentioned, the iPhone 10 and lower, have the check rein. But yeah, even Cydia is running at this point on the A13 devices, which is basically the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, and the A12 devices are the iPhone XS, XS Max and XR, and of course the iPads with the A12 chip, but at this point, as I said, we're very far in the process of getting Uncover for the iOS 13, and this is thanks to Pound to Own and the Uncover team, who are very dedicated to this work, and of course are busting their tails in here to get the jailbreak working, 
because it's only been a couple of days since Brendan Azad posted his DFP0 kernel exploit and Pawn already has code sign bypass working, CDA installed, remount working, and of course the non-setter and other bits and pieces of the jailbreak that have to be working. So this is already huge progress. Thank you for watching. I will keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community as well as with the uncover. Until the next time, peace out.